Welcome students to chapter number 1.3 Autobiography of a Great Indian Bustard. Let's study what is autobiography. Auto means self, bio means life, and graphy means printed or written. So you yourself are going to write about your life. That is called as autobiography. Now let's start with our chapter. Which is the heaviest flying bird in India? Well, friend, it's me, the great Indian bustard. I feel proud to be known as the great Indian bustard. I have more than 30 different names in various Indian languages. In Marathi, I am known as Maldok or Hum. I can weight up to 18 kilos and can stand up to 4 feet in height, reaching up to your shoulders or even higher. I have got a long white neck, brown wings, tall yellow legs and a black cap on my head. My wife, Mrs. Bustard, is smaller and slimmer than I am and her neck is not white. But I have heard that humans say that we both look impressive. I live on grasslands and deserts along with my other friends including Chara, Blackbuck and Larks. I eat everything including snakes, lizards, small fruits and berries and all sorts of insects. That's a very healthy habit. But grasshoppers and beetles are my favorite food items. When it starts raining, we all gather at our favorite grasslands where there are no people to disturb us. I perform a wonderful dance by gulping air in the special feathery pouch attached below my neck. This pouch helps me produce a resonating sound similar to the one produced by the cow. Boom! I dance in joy with puffed out feathers and crooked up tail and drop down wings. It helps me to impress my soulmate. You know that we birds lay eggs and our young ones hatch out of eggs. Mother Gib lays egg just one directly on the ground. We don't believe in building nest, but we have a special trick to protect our eggs from predators. The eggs look like stone, monitor lizards, foxes, dogs, pigs, snakes, and eagles are enemies of my egg and chick. But my wife protects the eggs from all of them. By the time our young one hatches, out of the egg, rain arrives. There's plenty of grass swarming with insects. Fresh food for my family. Young ones of other birds soon fly away from the nest. But a great Indian busted mother and chick stay together for nearly one year. The chick learns many good things from the mother. You may have heard about a great human friend of ours, Dr. Salim Ali. He had even suggested that we should be given the status of the national bird of our country. But the honor went to our beautiful relative. The peacock. I am happy to tell you that I am the state bird of Rajasthan. We have got 10 centuries for our protection, but sadly, our number is still going down. We used to live in all parts of India, but slowly the growing population of man pushed us away from more than 90% of our home regions. We are afraid of hunters that kill us for fun. 
we also die due to electric pole lines that we can't see while flying. We are losing our homes. Today, only the last 200 of us are left in the world. We need your support and love in order to survive. Can you help us? You can write letters to your leaders and make an appeal to help us. You can make my drawing and submit it to your teacher. You can discuss this with your parents. Come to see us at Sanctuary because now you will not see us in other places. And who knows, if humans don't help us, none of us will be left on earth. You will only see us in pictures. Thank you students. I hope you have enjoyed this lesson.